गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज पपिया दत्ता वर्किंग एज अ लेक्चर इन देवी महालक्ष्मी पॉलीटेक्निक कॉलेज टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू सब्जेक्ट दैट इज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एप्लीकेशन सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज बेसिक्स ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो हियर द फर्स्ट बिट ऑफ फर्स्ट पॉइंट अंडर दिस फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज बेसिक्स ऑफ माइक्रो कंप्यूटर्स प्रोसेसर्स एंड माइक्रो Controllers. So we discussed about this one by one. So first we'll understand about what exactly a microcomputer. So a microcomputer is a complete computer on a small scale designed for use by one person at a time. A microcomputer is primarily called a personal computer or a device based on a single chip microprocessor. Common microcomputers include laptops and desktops. Beyond standard PCs, microcomputers also include some calculators, mobile phones, notebooks, workstations, and embedded systems. Technically, a microcomputer is a computer in which the central processing unit, that is the brain of the computer, is contained on one single chip, a microprocessor, input-output devices, and storage unit. All these components are important for a proper functioning of the microcomputer. Now we'll talk about the block diagram of micro computer. So this is the block diagram. So a, block, a micro computer is a computer in which the CPU, that is a central processing unit, is contained in one single chip, a microprocessor, input-output devices, and a storage unit. All these components are important for the functioning of the micro computer. So the basic block diagram of a simple micro computer is shown here. So first is the microprocessor. consists of alu control unit and register we will discuss about this so a microprocessor is a multi purpose programmable logic device that needs binary instructions from storage device called memory and accepts the binary data as input and process the data according to those instructions and provide result as an output microprocessor is also called cpu since it is a functional center of the computer system and it is used to process data its internal construction is broadly divided into three sections one is control section alu and last one is the register section now next is the block diagram of micro computer here first uh, under the microprocessor there are three sections are there control unit alu and register array so the control control section or uh, the control unit controls the execution and sequence of instructions control unit receives the instruction from devices convert the instruction into a specific format to access the location of data in memory and give the con- and give control to alu for performing action on specific instructions control unit comes con- controls the buses registers marks and reg- circuits next is the alu that is arithmetic and logical unit so alu is the calculation unit in microcomputer it is also known as logical unit it performs addition subtraction multiplication complement or many more operations to perform these calculations alu unit used registers multiplexer adder half adder or flags flags like carry flag zero flag status flag overflow flag etc comes under arithmetic and logical unit next our last section of microprocessor block is register array or register section So the register section or register array consists of circuitry used to temporarily store data and program codes until they are sent to the ALU or to the control section or to the memory. The register in the Z80 microprocessor are of two types. One is general purpose register and second one is a special purpose register. So first we'll discuss about general purpose register. So the general purpose registers are used to store temporary data, either 8 bit data or 16 bit data, according to their size. registers given registers are given names here normally an alphabet names are given just as such as a b c d e then h and l each capable of storing 8 bit data these registers can also work as a pair such as b c d e and h l when these registers works as a pair they are capable of storing 16 bit data for all 8 bit operations like when they are used not in a pair then the register a is used as an accumulator or storage data where the result after an arithmetic and logical operation will be stored automatically to the accumulator 
but for 4 16 bit operation when these uh, registers work as a pair then for then register pair hl will be used to store the result next is a special purpose register a special purpose register is one that has a specific control or data handling task to carry out the types of registers used are flag register 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 f index register there are two types of index registers are there iex and iy stack pointer sp and the program counter the register f is an 8 bit register which is used to store the status of cpu the index register iex and iy are 16 bit register used to store 16 bit address and are used in index addressing mode types of instructions the stack pointer is a 16 bit register used to store 16 bit address and stores the address of the last program request in a stack the program counter is a 16 bit register used to store the next address of the operation code to be fetched by the CPU. Next is the memory. So memory is used to store the programs and data for the microprocessor. These storage devices are made of semiconductor devices and also known as primary, primary storage devices. Semiconductor, semiconductor memory is of two types, ROM and RAM. ROM stands for read only memory. So read only memory has permanent data storage. Once the data has written on it, content will not be lost if, if power turned on or power turned off. Boot record is written on it. When we switch on the system, the boot record loaded from GNOME and when system turned off, it stores on ROM. Next one is the RAM, the random access memory. The, it is a physical memory. It is faster than hard disk. RAM is placed between CPU and hard disk. To process any data, first it load it into RAM from hard disk and then CPU access it. Last one is the input output. So the input output unit. So uh, the input output unit allows the microprocessor to communicate with the outside world either to receive or to send data. Through buses, peripheral devices communicate with the CPU. Control buses used clock signal to activate the devices. Address buses used by the proce processor to fetch the code or operand for process. And data bus is used for read and write the operation on data. Now, next slide is about. Now, let's just take a minute and try to answer these questions. Why microcomputer was originally called micro? Which of the following is available in the form of a PC and which bus is used to read and write operation on data? So out of these four options, uh, why microcomputer was originally called micro? Because the fabrication of each transistor in the micro first micro, uh, computer processor is on micrometer scale. Second question, which of the following is available in the form of a PC that is the microcomputer and which bus is used to read and write operation on data that is data bus. Now let's just move forward and talk about microprocessor. So a microprocessor is a multi-purpose programmable logic device that needs binary instructions from storage device which called as a memory, accepts the binary data's input and process the data according to those instructions and provide result as an output. The processor follows the sequence that is fetch, decode and then execute. So here initially the instructions are stored in the memory in a sequential order. Then the microprocessor fetches those instructions from the memory, decode it and then execute those instructions till stop instruction is reached. Later it sends the result in binary to the output port. Between these processes, the register stores the temporary data and ALU performs the computing functions. Now we'll talk about the features of microprocessor. First one is the cost effective. The microprocessor chips are available at low prices and results its low cost. The size of the microprocessor is small, hence it is portable. And it is low power consumption. That the microprocessors are manufactured by using the uh, manufactured by using metal oxide semiconductor technology, which has low power consumption. Next is versatility. The microprocessors are versatile, as we can see, use the same chip in a number of applications by configuring the software program. Last one is the reliability. The failure rate of an IC in a microprocessor is very low, hence it is reliable. Lastly, we'll talk about the microcontroller. So it is a microcontroller chip. The microcontroller is a small and low-cost microcomputer which is designed to perform the specific task of embedded systems like displaying microwave information, receiving remote signal, etc. Here the prefix micro implies smallness and the term controller here implies an enhanced ability 
perform control functions the general microcomputer consists of the processor the memory that is ram rom eprom serial ports peripherals under timers and control counters etc now we'll talk about the comparison between microprocessor and microcontroller so microcontrollers are used to execute a single task within an application whereas microprocessor are used for big applications microcontroller its designing and hardware cost is low and in microprocessor its designing and hardware cost is high a microcontroller is easy to replace and microprocessor it is not easy to replace a microcontroller it is built with cmos technology which requires less power to operate whereas microprocessor its power consumption is high because it has to control the entire system next microcontroller it's it consists of cpu ram rom input output ports whereas microprocessor uh, it does not consist of ram rom input output ports it uses its pins to interact interface to or interact to the peripheral devices now let's just take a minute and try to answer these questions microprocessor comprises of which uh, which component uh, um, out, out of these four options which of the following sequence that a microprocessor follows and the speed of the microcontrollers are what as already answers are given microprocessor comprises of all the three options that is register section alu and control action so answer d is correct which of the following sequence that a microprocessor follows that is fetch decode and execute answer c is correct and the speed of microcontrollers are very slow as compared to microprocessor so i hope you have understood the basic concepts of microcomputer processor and controller thank you